So have you been looking for a laser that can engrave and even cut through metals? Well, you might want to check out this one. From G-Week, this is the G2 20 watt fiber laser. And they were nice enough to send me a pre-production model to check out, so let's see what this thing can do. But first, let's check out how this laser actually arrived. And this whole thing comes in a relatively small box. And on the inside, everything is packed really nice using a lot of foam. And with the more fragile pieces being towards the center of the box, it looks like you really have to try to damage this during shipping. So let me get this out of the box so you can see everything that was in there. And as you can see, there's not really all that much to it. And the largest part over here is the actual laser unit itself. And this is what actually generates your laser beam. And that laser beam is shot through this fiber optic cable to your laser head. And if I remove the lens on the laser head, you can see the little mirrors in here that do all the work to move the laser around extremely fast. And that's pretty much how a Galvo system works in this type of laser. As an example, here is it engraving in real time at a thousand millimeters per second. And if you happen to blink and miss that, here it is again. So overall, the assembly of this is mostly plugging in wires, and they're all unique, so you can't plug them in the wrong spot. And the rest of the hardware is just assembled with a couple screws that are mostly hand screws, actually. Even the entire laser head is held in with one screw. So it's kind of nice that you don't need tools for this. When it comes to the work surface, you'll notice a bunch of holes in it, and all of these are threaded. Also, the center part of this is removable, so you can use this to engrave on things that wouldn't normally fit in here, or on larger objects you wouldn't be able to move. And this is all made of aluminum as well, so it's very sturdy. This did also come with some plastic screws and some right angle jigs so you can mount them to the plate and be able to place things in the exact same spot every time to make bulk orders of things. And this does have two red laser dots built in to help you with focus, seeing that you'll have to manually focus this to whatever material you're going to be engraving on. And there's a knob on the top of the machine that will raise and lower the laser head. And you just want both of these points to be as close as possible to one another. And with that all done, I'll power on the laser source and we can actually start using the machine. And to actually run the machine, you're going to have to use a computer along with their own G laser software. And don't worry, they also have apps for this, so if you don't have a computer, you can use a tablet or phone. And you're not limited to text and shapes like I've been showing, you can do full-on pictures. Just keep in mind that you have to invert this, because the laser is going to be working off of grayscale, and the darker the area, the higher the power is going to be. And because I'm engraving this on a black card, all of my lines are going to be white, so that's another reason why I have to invert everything. And I did speed this up because it took 10 minutes and 30 seconds, but it looks like it came out pretty nice. And this this did come with some basic starting points for settings for different materials and what you're doing with them. But these are just starting points and you're still going to have to fine tune things to get the best results. This laser does have a red light marking laser as well, so you can see an outline of where you're going to be cutting or engraving. You can also move it in real time, so you can position everything exactly how you need it. And you can see how fast this can engrave when it's doing outlines. But if you're wanting to do all the line work and fill it in, it's going to take a bit longer. But it will also make the engraving really pop. And with all all of these engravings you can feel that it's removing material when you put your thumb over it and if you can feel that it's removing the materials that does mean it can cut through materials in theory so you can engrave something and then cut it out and you can clearly see that I was a little off when putting the circle around this to cut it out but you can also see how much this thing is warping from the heat of the laser granted this is a very thin piece of aluminum and it took about seven minutes and 30 seconds to cut this out and with just a little bit of pressure I can push this right out and we have a pretty clean cut and keep in mind this aluminum is only zero 0.2 millimeters thick. So the thicker the metal, the longer it's going to take, or it might just not be able to go through it at all if it's way too thick. So with this 20 watt machine, I would think that you could do maybe a maximum of half a millimeter in a reasonable amount of time. And that's all really going to depend on your design as well, if it's bigger or smaller. And if you are looking into cutting things, make sure you get this holder that I'm using so you're not cutting it flat on your build surface and cutting into your build surface. It also helps keep your part cool so it doesn't warp as much. And you're not limited to just metal on this machine, you can also mark on plastics. And on white plastics, it leaves a very nice black marking. It also marks really well on brass, as you can see on my brass hammer. And it can also do the same thing to silver, copper, and gold. Just keep in mind, when you are doing this, you are vaporizing materials, which is turning them into smoke or dust. So ventilation is a absolute must. And if you're doing this with a lot of gold or silver, you're going to want to capture all of this as well, or you're just throwing away money. My current setup for this is just some inline fans, ducting, and 3D printed parts that vent outside. And since we're on the topic of safety, this does come with eye protection as well that you should be using whenever operating the machine because you really don't want to risk the laser reflecting off the material directly into your eye. This did come with a vented green enclosure so you'd be able to operate the machine with other people in the room without everyone having to have glasses on. And this just kind of clips in place. You can also see that you can angle the laser head quite a bit and the small enclosure fan just plugs into the back of the laser head. This little fan will just remove the smoke from the chamber and you're still going to need some sort of ventilation 
ventilation. Overall, this is a very nice setup for this kind of laser. And with this being a 20 watt laser setup, it is about 10 times as strong as the other desktop fiber lasers that are coming out right now. And as you can see from this picture, there are going to be rotary accessories as well. And G-Week is claiming that the light source of this is going to have a working lifespan of 100,000 hours, which is over 11 years if you run it nonstop. And I know this is definitely not going to be for everyone, but there are a ton of things you can use this to customize or make totally new products with. So if you already have a company, you can up the quality of your products and make things look way more professional. Or if you're looking to start a small side hustle customizing things, this might be for you. And this does happen to be a Kickstarter campaign, so if you do get in early, you can save about $1,000, making this probably one of the cheapest fiber lasers at this wattage that you can possibly get. But like I said, this is a Kickstarter campaign, and there are no guarantees that anything will come of it. As you might have heard of, there are lots of crowdfunding campaigns that have failed, but those are usually from new startup companies. And G-Week has been around for about 19 years, making laser cutters, mostly for the industrial sector. And as of late, it seems like they're trying to expand to the hobbyist and small business market. And I actually did a video about the G-Week Cloud CO2 laser, if you want to check that one out. And I'll have links to that and the G2 in the description below, along with other things that I've used in this video. So let me know what you think about this new 20 watt G2 laser, and if it might be something that you're now looking into getting. And if you do have any questions, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to get back to you as soon as I can. Well, I think that's about it. So thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.